You ready to fight? You ready? Oh, how good is this? Man, we really get paid to sit here and watch this round one, the rematch between Conor McGregor and Max Holloway, a couple of future Hall of Famers, but a big spot as Holloway tries to exact some revenge. I mean, it was a big fight when they fought as kids. Now they are grown men fighting right now for the right to maybe earn a UFC championship or to just add to... Oh, flying knee to the head. He's trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Zai is starting to swell shut. Lands a big elbow there. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Nice look there by McGregor. Oh, you gotta love this. He is coming out swinging early. No surprise, the aggression on full display. No, he said he was gonna take it to this guy that is exactly what he's doing as he starts to play. Just over 20 total strikes. Have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Oh, my goodness! He's hurt the bad man. That right hook is nasty. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Big knee to the body. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. What an absolutely crazy knockout here, and that's going to be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent. But the celebration is on one of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, so here we are, Scotiabank Arena, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the T.O., baby. Nothing quite like calling fights in front of these five One time, I almost defended my belt in the six against Anthony Johnson. I was injured, wasn't able to compete, but Max Holloway once again showed what a champion he is by defeating Anthony Pettis in his great arena. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. All right, so about a minute into this one, not much in terms of action, DC. I don't know if you need to use the restroom, but it might be a good time. That thud on the table, that was me falling asleep. I'm sorry, John, I gotta wake up. Guys, get going. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Just over three minutes to go round one. Hook to the head there by Topuria. Well, the one thing about throwing jabs is that when you throw a jab, you kind of set your, your, your lead leg because you're trying to extend on the jab. If a person has good timing on leg kicks, they will land almost every time. So you gotta be careful. Nice straight punch. Lands to the body there. Back and forth we go. McGregor circling now towards the left. Straight kick to the body. Man, has he been masterful on the feet this evening. He's really utilized that jab to perfection. You see the numbers at the bottom of the screen. He might land 100 jabs tonight. Absolutely incredible. With conviction to the body. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Oh, jabs and bunches here, splits the guard there and continuing to keep his opponent at distance, courtesy of that crisp jab. And now leather being thrown on both sides. All right, so perhaps he's gonna have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's gotta pay attention now before it gets worse. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Ilya Topuria. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Big moments on both sides in round one. 
right, there's the horn. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a... You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. Well, he was setting up the hooks early in offense tonight. Watch for him to try to set it up again here. Uh, the crowd eye on the native Conor McGregor seems to have found his range early here tonight. It's amazing what he has done, not just for the sport of mixed martial arts, but for the profile of Ireland in the year. DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You'd think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets... Oh! He's in a lot of trouble now. All right, so he's landed a few semi uppercuts already, DC. Topuria's doing a nice job protecting the eye with that block. You don't want to absorb any more damage on that cut. Three minutes now to go in this one. Work, guys, come on. Just a slip there. Oh, nice. This late in the fight and have the BJJ practitioner not attempt a single takedown, what gives? I have no idea. He's not even tried to get this fight to the ground. I don't know what's happening, or maybe something happened earlier in the fight. Oh! Back to the feet! Huge block there. Topodi is swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up with the jab. Serena digesting what they just saw. That is not a TKO, folks. That is a clean knockout result tonight. I mean, just wow. What a performance by this young man. You ready to fight? You ready? All yeah. right, featherweight unification bout Alexander Volkanovsky and the interim champion Yair Rodriguez. Dominic Cruz is fond of saying Rodriguez is one of one. You go way back to the ultimate fighter with El Pantera, and there is no point of comparison for this guy on this entire roster. No, he's a different guy. Yair Rodriguez is not the guy that you saw before. It was a star-making performance against Josh Emmett to become the interim champion. And if he fights like that, it would seem as if he could fight anyone in the world. He has a big challenge ahead of him because Alexander Volkanovsky is the best pound for pound fighter in the world. In my opinion, Yair has a massive chance tonight. Let's see if he can cash it. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably going to hold up after tonight. I mean, Volkanovsky follows the game plan to a T. Whatever you set out for him, he is going to do, and he's going to do it at the highest level. We saw that in this fight against Max Holloway when he became the UFC featherweight champion. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, nice. 
Volkanovski going for the leg kick. He misses. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure. Oh! Lands a hook there. Wow, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Well, fear is not a factor for this striker. Coming out swinging early as we expected. Everything being thrown with fight ending intent. He throws everything so hard, but he said to us, when we talked to him earlier in the week, he goes, I'm not afraid of anything. I don't care if I can take it down, long as I get to put that one up here to Now looks as though he's got the neck. Let's go. Oh, nice. Oh, that guys. guillotine is officially tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Both fighters get up now. 20 seconds left. So the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the... All right, here we go. Round two, it is Ready Alexander fight. Volkanovsky Ready. versus Yair Rodriguez. his vision here moving forward. Oh, the switch kick now. Going to the side kick. Volkanovski gets caught by another side kick there. There. 48 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. And landing with 40% accuracy tonight against Yaya. Oh, a place shot there, DC. He is officially rough. Oh. That's a lot of blood, man. I think I can smell the B-positive blood type from here. Yeah, he's bleeding quite a bit right now, and the blood's going into the eye. He needed to adjust this early. Now he's about to have to go into survival mode. Rodriguez is doing a nice job there. You saw him raise the guard to block that offering from the opponent. Don't want to sustain any more damage on that cut that has already been opened up. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So you get a guy hurt, but you got to find a way to finish the fight. Nice block. Oh, Volkanovski's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form stop, stop, on his right stop. side? All right, the referee has stepped in here as expected. He is going to call in the doctor to look at what is a pretty significant cut that he's doing. It's a mess. It's completely a mess, and I'd be very surprised if this fight continues. All right, so the doctor talking to the referee, and it looks as though the fight's going to continue. He's got to go for it now, though. That cut's not going to get any better. It is not going to get any better. Now he's got to take some chances. He's got to go out on his shield, and he's going to go out, because if he gets to the next round, I'm not certain that he can go out again. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Right hook to the head block. He's cut. Get the elbow. Oh, man, the blood.
blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or his head's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of thick... Oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take... You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go. Round one, Conor McGregor, Max West Holloway. And I would think if you're Max, you've got a lot of confidence given what you've accomplished since that first move. Oh, yeah, you understand and you recognize that you are a much different fighter. By beating Jose Aldo twice, beating Brian Ortega, you take from all of those experiences and you apply them to this new McGregor fight. Nice job by Conor McGregor on the feet. You gotta think his longtime chief corner, John Kavanaugh, likes what he is seeing out of his pupil early tonight. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Well, the pleasant way to put it is that the fighters are respecting each other, feeling each other out, and managing risk, but really not much in terms of action thus far. No, they got to get going. I understand that when people are fresh, they're very scary. If not, you just caught them. Holloway's strike attempt there is blocked. Three minutes in our opening round. All right, let's go. Let's start the nice now. punch here. He's got to start kicking. Kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Oh, McGregor circling towards the left side now. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Very nice leg kick there by McGregor. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. Man, Holloway at his relentless best. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, big left. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Big shot to the head. Those are big strikes. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. It got checked. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, oh, he's oh, oh, oh. The round two is next. All right, so that round is in the books. Holloway's got a nasty cut above the eye. The cut man has some work to do here between rounds. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick. That... All right, DC, here we go. Round two. How Ready good fight? is this? Max Holloway Ready. and Conor McGregor. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landing for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Big knee lands. Oh, he continues to attack 
the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. All right, so unless my eyes are deceiving me, that is some bruising now on that calf. It only took one, John. I mean, one calf kick, and it's already starting to bruise. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, a double leg takedown is good. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him. There. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Well, that combination's going to test his chin nicely. Oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, nice jab by Holloway. Everything works off of the jab. Doubles up on it there. Final seconds here of round two. Oh, what a way to end the round. He got stunned by a huge shot there just before you heard the horn. So he gets saved by the bell. The question is, though, what type of condition will he be in when he gets up? You ready to fight? Ready. The third and final is underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Misses with the straight right. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to... Back to the feet now. Well, you gotta think it's only a matter of time. Yup, referee stopping the action here. That swelling is getting out of control. This might be the end, DC. It's bad. I mean, it's a lot of swelling. And it's the damage that he has taken over the course of the fight that is making him swell to a point that I don't know if he can continue. Looks as though the doctor is going to allow the fight to continue for the athlete. May want to raise the guard a little bit. He's got to raise the guard. He's got to take some chances because he's very limited in what he can do right now with that much swell. Third and final round here. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Man, where were these calf kicks 15 years ago? Another strike targets that area there. I mean, lands, and once again, it hurts him. 
it, it isn't as evident how hurt you are when you're taking these calf kicks. Trust me, it really does take an effect on you. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Kick to the body by McGregor. Big shot lands for both guys. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. One and a half minutes to go in this third and final round. Nice kick to the midsection. Let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has had lofty expectations for himself, really dating all the way back to his UFC debut in 2016. He has become arguably the greatest featherweight champion this promotion has ever seen, and as such, he has earned a fight against the biggest name in the sport, Conor McGregor. In the sport's history, Conor McGregor. And sometimes when you ask, it really isn't what you want. Volkanovski now gets an opportunity not only to fight Conor McGregor, he gets to fight a long-range striker in what is going to be the biggest moment of his career. There has never been more eyes on Alexander Volkanovski. Can he pass the test? We find out soon. Out of range with that one. a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Combinations here. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Edge of your seat action as expected thus far. What a fight. My goodness, what a fight. That is, oh, man, this dude is good. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Well, Conor McGregor's boxing looks sharp here tonight. We talk about him as a master of distance management, but he also uses his long reach to great effect. It's one thing to have a long reach. It's another to use it and to use that jab, and McGregor has really mastered it when it comes to mixed martial arts. Two minutes to go in the round. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Big power shot there. They're so evenly matched, they're going to attack. 
All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. Oh!